So today, today we're going to be looking at how we can add roles and remove roles from users using commands via a Discord bot. A long sentence I just said there, but it makes sense, so yeah. As you can see here, I've had a lot of fun playing around with the code I've written, and yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Hi friends, it's James, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as I just said, today we're going to be looking at adding and removing roles to users via a Discord bot. And well, as always, as I always say, just before we start, if you haven't already, please consider joining my Discord server. It's completely free, and if, I, and if you have any problems, you can ask them on there, and we'd be happy to help. Or just join anyway, because we'd love to have you. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the code. Let's get into actually programming how we can remove and add roles to a user via a Discord bot. So let's get started. So... I'm going to be putting this all inside of the admin cog. If you don't know what cogs is, go back and check out my previous video. You'd want to know what this is as it's extremely useful. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description and a card in the top right of this screen. So yeah, go back and watch that and if you haven't already. So as I just said, we're putting it inside of the admin cog because that's where it's just best suited for because this is basically, because this is an admin command. So. What we first want to do is create a command. So that's easy. Just commands.command .command open. And inside those curly brackets, we want to pass in our context. So pass underscore context is equal to, oops, is equal to true. If you don't know what that means, you can go back and watch previous episodes of my series and it'll explain what the pass context means as well as commands.command. .command. Because commands.command .command is how we define a command inside of a cog. So now, now we need to actually define something else. So we're not going to go straight on to define the function name. We need to define another thing that I have covered in another video, and that is permissions. So what we're going to do is this. We can do at commands dot has underscore permission is um, open brackets manage underscore roles is equal to true. So what does this mean? Well, we're saying that whoever uses this command must have the managed roles permission to use it. Because, for example, let's say you have this bot on a public server and someone joins. You don't want them to be able to add a role or remove a role from a user if they've just joined. Because, you know, they could be adding an admin role to themselves and then, I don't know, just delete your whole server. You see what I'm saying here? That's why we have to make sure that the person who's using this command has the managed role. That makes sense. However, we need to import the has permissions package. So if we head to the top of our file, you can see here that we need to have made we need to make sure that our has underscore permissions is imported. We also, while we're up here, you want to import um, from discord.utils import to get. So make sure you have this imported as well. So has permissions and this line here, the get. Okay, let's jump back down. So then, we've defined our command and the permissions that we need for our user to use it. So let's create the function. So async def, and let's name it add a role. Now inside of this bracket, let's pass in what we need. So we first need to pass in self because we're inside of a cog. Then we need to pass in ctx because that's how commands work and functions work in Discord PY. And now we need to pass in the user that we want to be adding or removing the role to. So to do this, we can do user uh, is um, in colon and then discord dot member. Oops, member like that. Now asterisk, and now we want to pass in the role that we want to be given the um, user. So we just do that by doing role colon discord dot role like that. So that's how that's everything we need to pass in to get our command to work. So now, now it's actually quite simple in what we need to do. So what, so what we want to do is create a very basic if statement. And because this is the add role command, we just want to check if the user actually has that role assigned to them. Because you don't want to be assigning a role that a user already has because it would just error out and it would just go all weird. That's why we need to check it. So to do this, we do if role in user dot roles. And that's all we have to do to check if we the user already has that role. 
And then we can just um, create a very basic um, send message back um, just to alert the person using the command that they, um, the user that they're trying to add the role to already has that um, role. I hope that makes sense what I just said. So I'm just going to create a quick um, just message here to make sense to the person. So I'm using an F string here. If you don't know what that is, that's just Python. I'd recommend you go and learn what they are. I'm not going to explain it now. But yeah, what, what I'm basically saying is we're passing in the user and then we're passing and then we're saying the user, what let's say the user's called, I don't know, Penelope. Penelope already has the role and then we're passing in the role. So let's say you have the role. Admin you, you, you want to assign Penelope the administrator role. We're saying Penelope already has the role administrator. See what I'm saying? Makes sense. So now we now want to do the else part of this if else statement because well we've now checked in to see if the user already has that role but chances are that they don't so we now actually need to assign it assign the user the role to do this we just do await and then we do user dot add underscore roles open and close bracket role and that's all we have to do that's how we assign the user a role and then we can just send a little message just telling the person who's using the command that the role was successfully added. Again, I'm going to be using an F string because that's the best way we should be doing it in Python. And we're going to just create a very basic, um, we're going to create a very basic sentence saying added role to, and then we can just pass in the user, which is like that. There you go. If we were to run this command now, this would work. However, we're going to write the other commands and then come back to it. Just, yeah, because easier to do it that way. However, before we move on to writing the remove role um, part of this video, we can write an error catcher. And let me explain. Let's say someone who doesn't have the manage roles permissions tries to use this command. We want to send an error message back to them saying that they do not have permission. And again, I've covered how we do this in a previous, a previous video. So yeah, we're going to create that error catcher, that error handler now. So to do this, we just do add role.error, and async, and then def role underscore error, because that's the name of the function. And then we want to pass in self, ctx, and error. And now we want to create the if statement, uh, if in instance, Open and close brackets. Error. Command dot missing permissions. That is what we need to pass in, just like that. And now we can just return a message to tell the person that they do not have permission to run this command. You do not have permission to use this command. Like that. So that's everything that we need to add a role to a user. We've defined the if statement to check if the user already has the role, and if not, then we'll actually add the role to the user. Then we've created an error checker to, for any person who doesn't have the managed roles, and if they try to use it and they don't have the managed roles permission, then they will be returned an error message. So now let's write the remove roles, remove roles command. To do it, we can literally just copy the whole of this, and all we have to do is just change a couple of things to get it to work. Well, first thing that we need to do is to rename our function to remove roles, remove role, and then again we want to rename the error capture here to remove role, and again remove role here, remove role like that. And now, what else do we need to do? Well, we can leave all of this the same now because we don't need to touch that again. It's just this if statement that we need to edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this if statement and basically we're just going to flip it around. So we can just take this here and put it up here, which for some bizarre reason, I did not seem to copy. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. And all we need to do is change this add roles to remove roles. I'll explain all of this in a second why we are doing this. And then we need to change this message just to say, um, what could we say? We could say, let's go removed role from the user. User dot mention like that. And then here in this else statement, we can say um, user dot mention um, does not have the role like that. 
does not have the role and then the role's name. So let me explain what we're doing here. So this if statement is first checking to see if the user has the role that we want to be removing. If it does, it will go ahead and remove that role from the user. It will then send a message saying it's removed that role from the user. Makes sense. And then this else statement is saying if this user doesn't have this role, then it will just send a message back saying it doesn't have the role because you can't remove something from something that it doesn't have. You see what I'm saying? And now, and then again, this remove error, this just catches it to make sure that the person actually has the permission to remove roles. It makes sense. So that's everything that we need to do to remove and add roles to a user via a command on a Discord bot. So let's test it out. Let's run it and head to Discord to play around and have some fun with it. Okay then, we're inside of Discord. So we're first going to use, we're first going to test out the add role command. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding it to this test account here. And as you can see here, when I was playing around, we've already added the test role. So I'm going to remove this just for the purpose of this to show you how it works. So I'll set a prefix and we named it add role. And now we need to define the user that we want to add the role to. And in this case, it's I'm a test account. And now we need to add the role. And our role's name is test. So we're going to define test. So we want to be calling the add role function. We're going to be passing in the user that we want to add the role to. And then the name of the actual role that we want to add to the user. So let's hit enter. And you can see here, added test to I'm a test account. So watch this, we click here. See, I'm a test account has the role test now. See, it worked. And now let's try out the remove role. So remove role. Now we need to find the user again because we need to tell which user, because um, we need to define which user we want to remove the role from. And now we need to define the name of the role we want to remove. So let's try this. Okay, so remove the test from I'm a test account. If you look at here, test has gone from I'm a test account. So it worked, which is really cool. So. Let's just test out those if else statements. Let's now try and remove the role test from I'm a test account. But I'm a test account doesn't have the role test. So it should return saying no role to remove. Watch this. See, I'm a test account does not have the role test. See, it works. And now let's add the role again. Sorry, we're now going to test out the if else statement for the add role function. So if we add a role to I'm a test account and we add the test role back, it worked. Let's try and add the test. Let's try and add the test role now, and we should get an error message. Already has this role. See, it works. It works in what we want it to do, which is exactly, which is really cool. So what concepts? What could you apply this knowledge of adding roles to? Well, firstly, just in the commands like we have done here, maybe you wanted to set up some administration things so you can easily add roles and remove roles to users via commands. But something else which is pretty interesting you could do is you could get it so when a user joins the server, you add a role to them. So let me show you how you roughly do this. So then if we head back to here and our cogs, we can see it. If we go to our main file, sorry, if we go to our greetings file and we go to on member join, this function here, you remember here, if you were following along with this series, we created a joke API and sent a welcome message. Well, then let's say you just didn't want to use any of this joke API or welcome message. What you could do is just replace all of this code here, the on member join code with the add a role to a user. So you could literally go user dot add role and then define a the role that you want to add. So you could literally go you await user dot add role and add the role you want, making sure you define the user, of course which I believe it should do inside of this member object. So I think you could just pass in this member object. So it would just be member dot add underscore roles and then the role that you want to add to the user. So that's another use case you could use for the roles function. But you can see here where you're going. And I'm sure your imagination is a lot better than mine in terms of what you could use this, this roles knowledge that I've just shown you for. But yeah. I hope you found this video interesting. And I just want to say that I'm actually considering adding a face cam to these videos. I think it'd be interesting to spice up the video a bit more and just make it a bit more personal. So you're not just looking at a screen, you're looking at me as well, explaining it. So stay tuned to that. And, and actually, I've got a question for you. Would you want that? Would you want to see that? So if so, let me, down, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I may very well add that in. But yeah, 
that brings us to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And while you're down there, please do hit the like button because it just helps the videos out so much in the YouTube algorithm. But anyway, catch you all in the next video. See ya!